Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been a little MIA recently, but things have been pretty hectic. What with moving house and building Harry Makes Up Academy, which helps other creatives scale their business. I've been thinking a lot about how I approach choosing makeup these days, even when I work with red carpet clients, and I feel like I've devised what I think is the ultimate formula to make the most from your makeup and curate the ultimate makeup bag edit, and I'm excited to share this with you. Curating a multitasking makeup collection that focuses on less but better and pieces you actually use is actually a lot like a great wardrobe or a wardrobe of pieces that deliver in functionality, comfort, and guarantee to make you feel like your best self. I want to focus more on the how today and less on what I'm using, but I'll make sure I link all the products in the description box below. The focus for this formula is centered around the idea of less but better and designed to make you explore the products you already own, find the gaps for products you actually need or feel drawn to, if any, and make more looks with less. If you'd like to learn more about booking a Zoom session with me to help you implement this formula and teach you some timeless makeup techniques, then check out the booking link below. I only have 10 spots available currently and I'd love to help empower you with your makeup and celebrate your beauty. So the first stage is your prep, or as I like to call it, your makeup underwear. I'm going to skip over general skincare and just focus on makeup for this video, but your prep is like the underwear stage. So great underwear makes all the difference to a really great outfit, and it's the same principle with makeup. So your makeup underwear is the things you use every day and they're part of your makeup, whatever look you're going for. For example, it could be your foundation, your concealer, your skincare, your brows. It's your necessities, generally the prep items or the pieces that frame your look. They are the pieces that anchor your makeup or are essential for the basics to work well. On the days I do up for a base, I like something really moisturizing and comfortable to wear, something that feels light and still has a glow. I find more times than not, I choose concealer just where I need it. Brow products are something I also consider a part of my makeup underwear and a really important step in the prep as eyebrows really frame the face. For a long time now, I've enjoyed using a little pencil to fill in the gaps and then a cream or gel product to add more dimension back into my brows. Lip balm is the one product I have to have in every single room and even if I remove it later, I like to start with moisturized lips to ensure better lip application later. If I had to choose between concealer or foundation, I'd always go for concealer and this one is an absolute essential. I like concealer that works to brighten under my eyes and remove redness. I love a little liquid or cream bronze to warm up my complexion. And while I rarely contour, I do like a little bronzer to add some shape and some definition to my face. I find a cream bronzer is great because it's easier to make it look more realistic and more transparent in texture. It also doubles up brilliantly as eyeshadow and also can be used to add definition to my eyes. So then we move on to the staples. The second part of your formula is what I like to call your staples. Think of these as your ride or die products that never fail you. These are pieces that sit very much in your makeup comfort zone. So they might fit into a similar color palette or texture, but these are products you generally feel great in and they add a little more polish to your look. So you could think of these as the equivalent to your wardrobe basics, but for makeup. They're tried and tested. They work year round for every occasion. They're your go-to pieces your staples. For me, these products tend to fall into the neutrals category, and I would say variations of browns and pinks are definitely my comfort zone. The beauty of your staples is that they can be worn alone or mixed together to create multiple looks. When it comes to tools, you don't need hundreds, just a few really good quality brushes and a good quality lash curler. So many brands sell amazing sets that will have a really good variety of multi-use brushes. I'm obsessed with this set from Katie Jane Hughes and Spectrum, and there's a few brushes in particular I've been using heavily on rotation. But if you can't get your hands on these, Zoeva also makes some great sets, as well as Real Techniques and Refor. A great mascara is a very important part of my makeup bag because it really anchors every look. The other product I can't live without that I consider a staple is cream highlighter. Like the cherry on a cake, it just amplifies the glow and I love that it can double up as a glossy eye look or lip balm relatively easily. 
For lips, I like something I can apply quickly without needing a mirror, a My Lips But Better shade that's balmy and again comfortable to wear and reapply. So the next section is what I like to call the wild cards. So this is the last part of the formula. These are a few makeup pieces that you almost put into the category of occasion wear, or they could be pieces that really elevate your staples. So your wildcard pieces could be a trend you're experimenting with, some kind of embellishment, but generally something that feels like a focal point, a finishing touch, or something out of your comfort zone that you feel excited to explore. That could be a bold color, a glitter, or something that would take your basic makeup look into a new level or elevate it to make it a brand new look. A bold lip often fits into my wildcard category as I don't always wear them, but I know when I do, it takes me into a new level of feeling good. For me, a bold lip color mixed to create a soft ombre always feels that something extra when I feel bored of my staples or everyday pieces. That's when I love to turn to my wildcard pieces. You guys know by now, I love me some glitter. Again, it's not an everyday piece, but I do consider it one of my favorite wildcard pieces. I love a red or copper or a pink glitter. These colors are still in my comfort zone, but the texture and play on light instantly elevates my makeup. The wildcard products can add dimension to your existing staples or basics, so it could be a brighter hue you add to make your neutrals pop or a new texture that you use to take an everyday eyeshadow look to something with a little more interest. I like very classic makeup looks with a hint of something editorial or a little twist that's actually quite subtle unless you're looking for it. This formula is so easy to adapt to you and your personal preferences and there really isn't any right or wrong way to do this. Don't forget if you'd like to learn more about booking a Zoom session with me to help you find your perfect edit and learn some tips and tricks, you can check all the info for that in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I look forward to catching up again soon.